What's up, y'all? Um, I'm sitting in the car right now. Ashley is tanning. Um, we had to do a little bit of running this morning. And during our running, we were talking. Well, our journeys on driving. Because my fat ass ain't doing no running anytime soon. Um, in our journey of driving, um, we were talking and just kind of going over everything, you know, that's been happening these last few weeks. And I think we figured out what the hell it is. Uh, On April 22nd, right before Ashley's birthday, we went to that antique store, and we, you know, we're looking around, and I told you the story, or I don't think I got to say the story uh, of what happened upstairs. The place used to be a funeral home. Uh, they know of four people for sure that died upstairs in that place. Um, but, uh, they're all supposed to be kind spirits, but the one in the one area in the far, you know, the far back of the place, um, that area is supposed to be haunted by, uh, a guy who, whenever he was alive, was... Uh, basically a womanizer. He raped and killed women and children. Um, and all that. He was just a bad person in his lifetime. But after he died, apparently he likes to... Uh, he likes to basically play with women when they go up there. He likes to, you know, touch them. He likes to pull their hair. likes to, to smack their ass. All that stuff. Um... And there was that that wolf that we have at home. We got from that antique store. We actually got it from that area where that guy, you know, the, the bad guy is said to, to haunt. The weird thing is that um, there was... Three or four more of these wolves in other places of that that antique store upstairs. And for some reason, she was drawn to this one wolf. She would not put it down. Um, even after the guy told us the story, like whenever we already went upstairs and then went back downstairs now mind you when we went upstairs and we got ready to walk into that area i turned around i was in front because i was recording but i turned around and i i looked at ashley and i said oh shit do you feel that like something just doesn't feel right in this area and she said yeah she agreed with me well after finding out that story that kind of added you know added everything up but um, when we were told, after we already went and looked, whenever we were told about that wolf, or about, not the wolf, about the upstairs, she was holding the wolf, and I looked at her and I said, okay, let's, you know, let's go take that wolf back upstairs and grab a different one from a different area. And as I'm telling her this, you can just see, like, she... She looked at me, and she, like, I don't know, like, she, it looked like she acknowledged what I said, but just, it didn't register, you know what I mean? Like, she had this really weird glaze over her eyes, and I didn't put two and two together, um... Like, I just thought, okay, she's tired, you know, whatever. 
But she had this weird, like I said, that weird glaze over her eyes. And then she just handed this guy this this wolf. And I was like, like after I said that, she, I, I swear, she looked at me and just handed the guy the wolf. And I was like, you know, okay, you know, whatever. I guess we're riding the wolf. But now that you know, we're thinking a little bit more about this. I really, really honest to God think that that whatever is attached to that wolf had her, you know, just, just, it, it had both of us that day. That's the only reason why that damn thing is in our house. That's the only reason why it's, why, you know, why we brought that that specific one wolf home. I don't understand why she, like, I'm telling you, like, go back and watch that video that I recorded. Like, you can see that there's a few different wolves. Like, I picked one up. I literally picked it up and was holding it in my hand. I remember saying, oh, look, this one's 20 bucks. Okay. And... I sat it back down. I don't know why she picked that one specific wolf in that one area that day, but I do believe that that is what is in the house. Whatever was possessing that wolf has, it had her that day, it had me that day, and it would not let us put that thing back. The weird thing is, is the entire way home, she sat there and held that horse on her stomach. Like she, in the store, she had it pressed up against her stomach. I'm telling you this for a reason. And she, sitting in a car, had it like the entire time against her stomach. Ashley's been waking up every day for the last week and a half now with stomach aches. She just got off her period, so no, she's not pregnant. I would love that. But no, she's not pregnant. Um, Because she just got off her period. Literally just ended it like three days ago. So, I don't know if, I just, I don't understand it. Like how, like as I've been dealing with shit like this my entire life, I could tell when something is off something's not right and I cannot I can't understand why I didn't I couldn't pick that up like it just doesn't it doesn't make sense like why couldn't I pick that up why, like I knew something about it was evil I knew something about it wasn't right but why couldn't I why couldn't I get you know, like, why couldn't I get her to put that down? Why couldn't I just grab it off of her and and put it back? You know, why did it have to be that one wolf? I don't understand. But I'm going to try something when I get home. And she agrees. I'm going to put that wolf in our camper. And see if that calms anything down in the house. Like it won't, it'll still be on a property obviously, but it won't be in the house. I'm going to see if that helps. And if it does, then we know what it is obviously. That's what I, that's what we both think it is anyways. So, I guess we'll figure it out when we, you know, within the next couple days. So, but, uh, anyways, I am, I guess I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys later. Um, I'll keep you posted on everything. Um, because obviously something isn't right. It hasn't been right for a while. 
Um, hopefully, I'm hoping and praying that that, that that is it. And if it is, if it is that, then we are going to probably take it back or, you know, just get rid of it and we're going to get the house blessed. Um, so, or, I, see, I don't know, because I don't want to get rid of anything because, like, this is, this is a ghost hunter's wet dream. Like, you know, it really is. Like, you don't get this kind of activity all the time and literally like you know <laughs> so but I don't want it to hurt her that's my problem I may kind of I may do what uh, Ed and Lorraine Warren did is basically build a box put the fucking thing in there and have it bless basically what they did with the Annabelle doll. I don't know though. But here's Ashley. Why are you calling me? <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna post this. And like I said, I'll keep you guys posted. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.